Hey everybody, it's Julie, and I sure hope you've been enjoying this summer of stamping. Today I'm going to be playing with the Stay Cool stamp set, and I know originally um, I showcased ideas using it to create summery uh, images, summery cards with popsicles and ice cream, but there is so much more that you can do with the geometric shapes and the patterns in this stamp set. And I'm going to show you six different ideas that don't involve ice cream or popsicles. So I'm gonna start with a four bar note cards. The whole set of note cards are gonna be four bar size and that's three and a half inch by five inches when they're folded. And I'm inking up with Concord and Ninth's water-based dye inks. I've got the whole collection in a box, but I haven't played with them um, all that much. And so I just chose a limited palette. I'm working with grapefruit, sorbet, and stardust. And then I'm also using just my favorite black ink as an accent. Um, color. So I'm cleaning my stamps off very thoroughly before I switch ink colors uh, and I use two stamp chamois for that and the reason is that I keep one stamp chamois wetter than the other. One I squeeze the daylights out of it so it's almost dry and the other one I keep wetter and that's for cleaning and then when I need to dry it off after I've cleaned it I use the drier chamois. It's not completely dry it's just had a lot of the water squeezed out of it so it's barely moist right and I like doing that because it then eliminates having any fuzzes like when I use baby wipes I always get fuzzes on my stamps and it transfers to my ink pads and everything and this there's no fuzz involved so I'm like this is awesome this is the way I'm going to clean my stamps from now on <laughs> two chamois <laughs> So I am going to mix and match these geometric shapes. Um, these are the arches uh, from the set. And I'm going to invert the other one, the other direction, with a different color. And then come in with a pop of black there for accent. And then to add a little bit of pattern and interest to this particular card, I grabbed those uh, stripes and I made sure that they were going horizontal. And I think this is a really great way to create some fun, very simple, very easy abstract art. That we're just using stamps, ink, and paper. Nothing else. So I'm going to take the wavy line image for this one and create a vertical, you know, on there on the side and then start placing these images. I'm just going to create kind of a mishmash going in different directions. And it's fun to kind of like play with this concept on scratch paper first and I just took a really soft color of ink um, at first and kind of played around with how far or how close to space the images and how to alternate the colors and I figured out as I was doing this wow okay my darker colors need to be um, used more sparingly more as accent and then the whole idea of this modern abstract art has a lot of visual pop because the colors are balancing out by not having you know everything dominantly bold and bright so you've got a mix of soft colors and then some darker more intense colors being used as accent so in this one here I decided to create like a planter so I've got a pedestal there made out of the arch and then I took the semicircle to create like a flower pot and that tiny leaf you know it doesn't have to be stamped so you can stamp it multiple times to create an actual plant so when I got done with that I thought oh I really want to give that a little bit more um, texture to this image uh, some sort of interest and so I decided to mask off the sides and then grab that stripe stamp again to create some decorative elements on my pedestal and I'm telling you it's such a simple little thing but it it adds everything to the overall finish of the card and none of these cards have any sentiments because I wanted just a set of basic note cards just that you could send just to say send it send a quick thank you note send a hello note or thinking of you note they didn't have to be specific to any occasion uh, or for any reason I just wanted no note, plain note cards <laughs> so that I could write whatever I wanted to on the inside and I think these turned out so fantastic now here you can see I'm using the solid circle to create like oranges and of course that little leaf has created their leaves and then I took the stem and I inked it up partially to create the little um, stem that's going right there coming out of my little oranges and then for just a little bit more because they look just a little bit naked I thought oh let's just add a texture stamp so I took that polka dot um, texture stamp or that grid dots texture stamp and I inked that up with a darker shade that sorbet and it just 
finish that card off so beautifully and it brings all those elements together. And when you're doing this, I find that it helps to plan your layouts uh, and bring your images tighter and closer together instead of spreading them far apart because then they just look like they're hanging out in the middle of nowhere, right? You want to have this cohesive look. You want to kind of keep it tight and a little bit more um, connected. The images need to be kind of connected to each other. And so when I got to this point where I made this scene here where I have black water, yes, water can be black, waves can be black, and your boat can be pink. <laughs> I used the triangle stamp to make the sail on one side, and then I used tape to mask off a portion of the stamp. I cleaned it uh, very thoroughly, and then I used a piece of tape and re-inked it. And then when I stamped, it looks like I have a whole nother smaller triangle to create the other side of the sailboat. So I thought that was really nifty. And then I added a couple of little sparkles there to connect the sun and the boat and the water. And there you have a really fun set of modern abstract art note cards. And they're so fun and so easy to make. And they'd make an awesome gift. No ice cream, no popsicles. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.